what's up? Uh, it's Restricted Arts. This is going to be the first um, video for uh, the live com designing thing. Um, I'll be back in two seconds. Alright, I'm back. So I'm going to be doing a banner for a buddy of mine. His name is uh, his name is Jumper. Um, yes, yeah, so pretty much he says he wants something kind of around the style of uh, like kind of like this which is I posted and this which was a buddy for the other guy so yeah uh, so pretty much I'm going to open up my uh, Cinema 4D Lightroom which isn't my Lightroom I just found a Lightroom online and then threw in the textures I wanted um, you see this little darkish gray area is what's not going to show up in the render, so I am lifting this up so I have more room for materi materials and also so that this fits right. Uh, sorry, I'm going to... I'm gonna quit out of Skype for now just because uh, it's gonna be annoying in the video. Um, yes, yeah, so <laughs> uh, we're just gonna bring in some mo text. This is the Lightroom. I'm gonna center it, making that a line middle. Um, I'm just going to size it down a bit because sometimes if it's in this light room, this is just for this light room, if it's too big then like the light will get weird reflections on it because it's getting hit only par partially, only part of it's getting hit by the light, so yeah. Now I'm just going to type in jumper and then just play around with fonts and see um, if I want to like I don't really want to use Batman Forever again because that I've used that a lot. Um, that could this could that could look nice. Oh, sharp. Nah, it's a little too skinny looking. Slant jumper. Is this a uh, different capitalized? Oh, I just did. It just makes it bigger. Um, it's a possibility. Um, no. No. Yeah, well, I hope you guys will like this uh, idea. Um, I think it's kind of cool. I think people will learn a lot from it. Um, hopefully, um, you don't have to watch the whole thing, you can just skip around if you want. Uh, should I use that? I, I kind of want to use that lot, just because, uh, it gives me a lot of space to work with. Alright, um, increase the depth just a little bit, and then I want to increase the spacing a tiny bit horizontally. And I'm going to hit C to make this editable, and then open it up so I can get the individual letters, and then rotate it. That's just how I rotate my letters. Uh, and then you can just do this however. Try not to have it like too predictable of a style, though. Kind of mix it up, but don't put a ton of thought into it. And after that, I like to pull out my letters, and then just delete this and then group this together. And I'm going to rename this what? Letters. Just so I keep my nulls uh, clean. Um, yeah, so then I'm going to hit Control C to copy and Control V to paste. But then just always, whenever you're trying to like do some effect with things, always copy it and leave one normal one. So that if you don't like it, you don't have to control Z a ton of times and sometimes you go 
too far or whatever. Yeah, so to start out, I'm probably going to do a make, put a fillet cap on this. If you don't know what a fillet cap is, it pretty much, it's just the outline. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, so I'm going to reduce the radius a bit, like one. And then, to, I have to ask him the color. Thanks for all the support on this video. I think it'd be cool, but I also need to see all these comments. Um, yeah. Um, also, I need to. What? I'm doing it all wrong. Yeah, thanks for all the support on this. Yeah, I'm just pop stamp it if you want to check them out. Good display, good stuff. Um, yeah. Check them out, check them out. Um, see when it's ready. I think that looks about as cool. I don't know what more the heck this material is even looks like. It's just like the coat tank system. Um, but yeah. Um, so, pretty much. This will make a clean black. And then we can have control C, control V or whatever. Um, I'm sure there's some kind of glue grip or other. Another star, but there's one, so there's six. I can't really see the star. All this does is add this green color effect to this. Get the star quality to shift up. And I know there's something I need to try. look it up. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Um, I think this is a fine effect. Um, but I am going to do other stuff to it. the color to that um, like real quick or whatever so yeah yeah I have some more reflections I want to add uh, just a couple more times maybe Tutorials, right click, get to region, then drag over this, and that pretty much makes the material so that it's the same, the same kind of color, right? But I'm not sure if I'm making the same color. Yeah, I'm gonna go with something more simple.
this is I'm doing all this by having control over the item. Yeah. Play around with some rooms that have a random effect on them and see how it goes. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I'm gonna make this mic sound a little better. Let's um, just grab one of the, the login pages from downstairs. Let's put it here. No, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work either. Well, actually, I'm gonna fuck with it a little bit. No, I'm just gonna put it like in here. But I'm gonna try and make it to follow the reflection and see how well it fucks with it. I'm gonna have to color it in a little bit, but there's a reflection touch thing on the mount to screen, so I'm gonna have to. This up at the corner of Logan. Um, I'm not sure why the face is such a weird color. Maybe it's the two region. Let's see how this looks. I'm just going to make this blue in Photoshop and change the blue and change the color to red in Photoshop. Yeah, that kind of fucks with the These markers make me look cra crazy. Uh, reflections aren't necessarily that good. So, but anyway, so now I'm gonna try a little bit of it on the uh, mount and make it a little better. Yeah, that looks okay. Uh, what is that? Yeah. So we're gonna take it and put it at that. Increase the focus so it's more of a it's more of a rounded um, height to it. 
stay so give me one second uh yeah so i'm just gonna try and get some side by look things i don't know who knows i could be wrong but all right so that's what i'm gonna do so to go in there. do this and just clipping and dragging here on the screen. These modes are like, see this is, if this is you select the object as a whole, you can see it's just one object. This is um, you select the points, drag and drag them, point out if you want, that's a weird stuff, but this is line segments, so you can call one line segment out. Here's surfaces, which is what I was on before. Hoping that would work. Um, but the logo that's actually gonna work is in there. But for now, I'm just gonna keep this as black on it. Um, I want to see if I can put a group in there here. I guess I guess. And then I want to do something. I know it's somewhere. to do with I know I can make it so that the textures still have still have purple there we go input select the textures you know that's pretty cool for this here um, only problem is I know it's gonna have to have my sizes down 
which means it will say some size button. Yep, it's gonna extrude the thing to stay set to the out portion. Let me see, it didn't do that. Let me go up. This is all stuff you picked up just from watching, so I wasn't even there. See if that is any indicator of how much bigger it gets. Ah, it's a little bigger. It's kind of cool. I feel like these plugins, I know the last is free. Reedler might um, cost money. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can find it. You can find it if you uh, if you just look around for free. Um, yeah, so I usually break anywhere from 25 to 35 pounds. That's per piece. What you do is you just click and hold to make sure all these are selected. And why these are why these are selected, um, that's the only one I know. And then just let these pieces just pull them back a bit. Yeah, this is gonna be set to uh, Here. Dude, I wonder if I put that would be too much work to put a groove on each piece. Yeah, <laughs> that would be a little too much work. Um Yeah, so what all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alter the colors I use. So I'm gonna go to like one bit black. Probably is the best way to do this is leaving these pieces, but at least you want this it there to be one color, the piece to be one color inside and outside. Just put that on this main grouping thing. Drag, control and drag, control and shift, drag. You see, it's kind of like cringy so far. Um, looking to add a little more to it, I think. Um, maybe some hooks and just something else to go along. So I'm gonna um, bring in the 
this here. I don't think it does anything to me. It regrows my speed. this first. So control C. Um move this next one. Hold and shift. Hold and select these two pieces. Then I pretty much just left it this way. You hold it on this line pretty much. And then since selected this way, you hold it on this line. If you can see that, I don't know. This should be recorded in 1080. If you want to watch this full screen, see. Because my screen resolution is 120 by 1080. So uh, if you want to try to watch this in that, uh, you can go ahead. Texture seems clean and crisp. Alright, that's cool. Alright, I learned something. So put in the texture. If you've already textured this thing and use input textures, when you put a texture on the cleaver thing, when it these little things are called the cleavables or cleave shears, it puts uh, the textures on those. So that's that's cool. could do is a uh, no drag corona drag this in and then I'm gonna say here It's gonna take too. It's gonna take too much time at the moment. <laughs> I'm just not gonna mess with Chrome right now. I don't think that would be kind of hard for me to do. Make this one end up looking more kind of clean. And then I'm gonna literally see when like if you saw something like this and sometimes I'm just like oh my god that's a ridiculous model but you see you learn you learn how this stuff is easier than it looks because I just moved the plug in Erase um, and I'm just I just thought it was gonna take a lot longer than this was because I'm gonna 
Okay, one final thing. Maybe something kind of similar to that. Swans. Just bring them on in. Sorry for not completely explaining stuff, but I think you might see why I'm clicking this stuff entirely. An idea. Swans are pretty much guides for where stuff goes. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna try to move like little bit extra modeling because I kind of want to teach you guys as much as I can in this but uh, I think we're gonna be we're gonna do a few more of these circle of sweet nerves pretty much what sweet nerves does is it has one spline follow the path of another spline making a 3D. If that makes sense. Um, for this helix we're dragging the first, this will be the main spline of the spine. I mean this circle will be the spline that follows along that X and it'll be be the circle followed along that helix. So we'll just change the size of the circle to make it look right. And you can change the radius of this here just to make it I want to make this fit around the X Y. Change the height. That doesn't look bad right now. I feel like it's not doing anything. Okay, so we're gonna try to do something here. Nah, this looks like a hard mode. Um, Problem is if we shrink it to the far part, it is what it is. Uh, we're gonna just kind of put it somewhere. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna say that's good for now. Um, I just wish I could really fix some things. some textures on it to make sure um yeah so now I'm just gonna probably gonna render this pretty much straight on maybe a little bit to the right an angle like that um save I have a file where I save all my stuff so I'm just gonna hit jump up and I'll render it and then while stuff is rendering I'll usually like to um open up my templates and stuff in Photoshop <sighs> Templates and shape exports, and I have quite a few of them. Okay, 
can't really see music while I'm doing this. Show you a video or a podcast, either one. What I'm loving is reflecting on here what it will become. I don't really know what's supposed to change it, but it's for a buddy of mine, super serious client. So hopefully, any of my clients are super serious. Maybe the YouTube account, but yeah. Usually close this in a pretty easy point, but I'm just gonna if I can't move it open distance because I can't make those re I can't make those reflections work. So I know I can't make them change it. Um, this cat comes with a CC. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that onto my maker, and I know I can build up its bevels and stuff. Doing J, but those were X. Okay. All right, I think that's pretty good. I know in my control, control um semicolon brings up the line guideline. It's gonna have to. Um, it seems like it plays pretty much right. I'd like to uh, take a look at this. Make it look right. Uh, this CC and all it does is um doesn't change the color. This enhances whatever color it is. Um, image adjustments and then the maker's wheel, of course. And now I'm going to show you the things I do with my text to make it look a little uh, different. Um, so Control J, filter. Um, Blur, darken, and blur. This is a level and center blur. This is kind of a little bit thicker, but it, this particular piece has a blur behind it. Control, control J again, filter, blur. A layer blur. This looks nice on some, doesn't look nice on others. You can see kind of what I do. Let me use another one because it's a little bit. Um, control J. This one I leave on top, filter, filter gallery. And then uh, this is a uh, almost stylized glowing edges. Edge width is always a pain, edge brightness. Um, I just kind of like keep it to around a nine. And then smoothness, to smoothness, make it smooth. I'm trying to keep it pretty sharp right now. So if I blur on screen, just bring up the black. And then uh, usually lower this down. J again, um, filter, and then oil paint. You may have to filter gallery to get oil paint. I just use it enough that it's already there. And if the settings just kind of here, turn around to it, down the very top, and then use the lower X. Lower opacity. And that is, I don't don't use this on every background. I'm trying to get better at not using it on everyone. It's just, um, this is kind of like the stylish kind of thing you get this for. Um, you do live, lose a little bit of your model sometimes when you put this on just because it makes it a little more blurry, but uh, yeah. I could have put some change on this so I could make it a more blurry, but um, so just to make sure this fits. This is just the least you ever see, so I want to make sure it fits in there. And this is the main one from the options, uh, attraction. Um, yeah, no, it's 
sorry, I mean stocks. Oh, there we go. Yeah, stocks. Um, for which the reason I open with one prop is because there's one stock that I just know I've got in my deck and I just have to turn it in. Or it is in probably sooner than that. I don't, um, I just really like it. Sunscreen. Yeah, you can really apply to them if you want. Usually I just keep it in my hair. Um, yeah. So, I think that's the most I got. Just look at the odds. Uh, and I thought I'd correct change it, but this makes me feel good now. Because I was really liking this red right now. Seven to five. Um, not gonna add a ton to this. Some backgrounds I do add if they're my stuff, and uh, some I don't. Um, I'm gonna try something else. I haven't used it. Let's see how much damage it actually does. No. Oh, I know. Actually, I know what I'm gonna do. Alright, so let's see. Exchange and protect the rest of it. That's all right. Which one was that? Oops. It's below the middle line. Two and one. See, I'm trying. We're trying to work on something called non-zinger attack. We're just kind of making it look like it's on a wall. stuff like this to the uh, sides. I'm going to put one kind of corner in there. Um, I'll do another thing I like to do. Some kind of appearing thing I'm using. Hard, hard, soft touch. Um, I'm just gonna draw a few. I don't know why this is showing up so many. Feels quick in my hand. Can't decide to do it. Like to blur. see it but it just makes it make it makes it kind of streak
this small bit to this one here. in black. Nope, can't do anything with it. Give me some white. on both sides. And uh, now I'm going to go with that and we'll cover the rest. I'm just going to Center vertical forces are in the way. Let's see, I need to do camera. Um, but then I can. I'm just gonna put an inner shadow, normal. Something like that, and then bring the frame down. best but I think it turned out all right um, send it to him and see see what he thinks well hope you learned some stuff I can learn some stuff with that uh, Greenberg thing although no one's gonna record me probably next time I try it won't work at all so uh, also like if you you know might know if you look at stuff from a higher up it looks different so I'm gonna have to like set up a new chair and guys gonna need stuff because it doesn't appear to be the top of the screen yeah you you, you know how stuff works um, yeah uh, how long is this uh, how long will this upload it's gonna it's gonna be a few hours check check this guy out by the way he plays second which is his pretty sick intro he just showed me that's some real 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 nice to intro um yes second and now he's vfx dancer the results are out if you don't know um thanks for all the likes on my new intro um yeah um that is pretty
and it's I believe um let me know what you thought um I'm definitely gonna try to do more of these um I kind of like I kind of like how this popped out of the text right there that would've been cool if I would've had one coming across because I'm aiming at the text that's probably what I should have done ah too late now uh, yeah, just let me know what you think and um, leave a like if you like this tell me where I can maybe make it better on uh, here thanks never mind actually I forgot something um yeah so first first thing I forgot a few things actually first thing I always say is what's the name of the jumper I'm fine I'm open Open that up again, actually, let's see. And then, uh, looks better if you have chain blur. I'll just blur. And, uh, pretty much just adds a blur uh, to it, which I like. I think the blur is really kind of good look to it. I don't know how it looks from here to here starts to blur and then underneath it and what that is kind of blur. You can change the amount of blur here. Just look like it's crazy blur. I like the chrome on this. I don't know if that's a good one or not. just replace it and then yeah by the way the reason I ask people to add things is because uh, I can send them their files by the way I can put this in my portfolio just in case oh how are you doing Oh, I've already done quite a few backgrounds with this. But, uh, yeah, hope you learned something of significance. <laughs> and, uh, this should be it. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what I can do better. And, uh, 